I'm gonna share this little quick video with you real quick. Um I I have been having sleep paralysis since I was like four years old. Now, the psychiatrist claimed I, I was having this stuff happen to me because I was born into a like a psychotic childhood. Now, I had money. I had every toy I ever wanted. I had all the clothes I wanted. But my dad used to shoot up dope. And would shoot through the house at stuff that wasn't there. And um, demons would play with his mind and he'd be chasing demons. I mean, he would he would go out of his mind for two weeks straight. Just like one time, me and my grandma and my cousin, because my grandma had custody of two of my cousins, and her boyfriend, we had to move out the house for two weeks. And this was when I was in um, like seventh grade. But anyway, back to when I was four years old. Uh, I've been going through sleep paralysis ever since I was four years old. Cause I never really know my daddy to be sane. Like he's been off, and he's still crazy. He's he's a I don't know. I I haven't I, I cut him off five years ago because he left me on the highway at nighttime. <laughs> Cause he's supposed to be a Christian, and he says everybody's going to hell just about except him. He thinks he hasn't done nothing wrong. Like he's just crazy. But anyway. The psychiatrist claimed because I lived in really a war zone in home, at home that I have post-traumatic stress disorder. So anyway, in 2006, I was asleep and I started going through the sleep, sleep paralysis. And I hate going through that. I hate it. It's very scary. And I'll, I wish I could just get up and move and stuff. But... Um, the most high allowed me to have an outer body experience. And uh, and at this time, I wasn't I wasn't even near being woke to the truth. At this time, I worshiped false white Jesus, the slave ship. But anyway, my spirit floated up to the ceiling and looked down, and it was three demons holding me down. Like, when they was like, ah! And you know, though, on my last video, when I said I seen some demons, like, with the skin falling off their face and teeth, it was that these same demons have been messing with me since I was a little kid. And when I seen the demons, like last time I seen them like that was in um 2016. Yeah. But they have been like, I guess I believe the most high signs, demons and angels to people. You know what I'm saying? Especially people that are gonna, you know, wake up to the truth. I'm really not sure. But I believe demons are assigned to different cities and states and countries, too. I believe different angels are assigned to different cities, states, and countries. This is just my personal belief because I've been seeing these demons since I was four years old. Now, I haven't seen any here lately since I've been woke to the truth. And I woke up like around the end of 2018, fully woke. And I, like I said in my last video, I've been repenting since 2017 for five years straight. This makes the fifth year. But um, and I and I've I've went through sleep paralysis so many times. Like I've seen I've seen the I've had dreams where I in the dream I'm going through sleep paralysis. I've had a dream like one time I went to jail in a city that I wasn't from, and I was having sleep paralysis in the jail cell. And I in the dream, it was like I was I. I, I don't believe in reincarnation because in Christianity they taught against it. But it makes me wonder because I in the dream I was a slave in the dream and I was running from, I guess, the slave master. And my husband also claims he remembers being shackled to somebody and them drowning on a boat when he was a slave. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna doubt him because everybody's supernatural experience is different and everybody's supernatural experience is a supernatural experience. It's not of this world. So I can't tell somebody, you didn't see that, you didn't witness that. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, back to in 2006. So my my spirit floated up, looked down, I was going crazy in the spirit. I was like, ah! I was screaming because these demons was like, ah! Every, and I was calling Jesus, false white Jesus name. And, you know, finally after, I don't know, it might have been like, two minutes, two minutes felt like two hours though. 
Then they finally disappeared, and it was three of them. One was on my thigh, and one and it was like two of them was at my feet. But it had to be one of them on my chest. I just didn't see it because that's usually where you feel the most pressure at is on the chest. And I looked it up. You know, I, every culture says the same thing. It's demons on you, and I believe that. And, and plus, I know that. I've seen them. But anyway, I just wanted to share that about sleep. I haven't, let me see. I haven't had it. I had it like maybe twice in 2019, but I'm glad I haven't really had it lately. Sometimes I think the most high allows it to happen for certain reasons. I don't know. Like I know I, when I used to have it and before I was really woke to the truth, like when I was transitioning from worshiping the most high, from going, to, from going from false white Jesus to just worshiping the most high, he would allow sleep paralysis to happen to me. And in the sleep paralysis, I would call on, by accident, I would call on false white Jesus. And then, like, the more and more I researched, the more and more I studied, the more and more I was waking up to the truth, when it would happen, I would call on the Most High's name, and they would disappear faster. So I kind of feel like he was allowing it to happen so I can get, you know, I, so I could be ready in the spirit realm. You know what I'm saying? For the most high. So I can be re ready spiritually. So I can really throw false white Jesus in the trash can. Like he's thrown in the trash can around here. This house don't worship him. No sir. No ma'am. No sir. But I just want to tell y'all about that. Um, I hate sleep paralysis. You know that's the scientific word for it. It's in, in psych, psych, psychiatrist claim um, your body your, your brain is still woke and your muscles shut down so you don't sleepwalk. That's what they told me. And they claim because of all the psychiatric stuff I went through when I was a child. That's why it happens to me. And I told her, oh, no, they're demons because I've seen them. And they look at me like, okay. <laughs> but I just wanted to share that with you.